What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome garbage truck toy that I found at Target. It was really cheap, it was on clearance. I forget how much you paid for it, I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, original price, I think it was like 40, maybe. I don't know, I honestly don't know. I found that at Target in the clearance section. Uh, but today we're gonna turn in this bad boy into something more rugged, something more real. So let's go ahead, man, without wasting any more time. Let's get into this video. What's going on, guys? And I want to start off by letting you guys know the process of this was very easy. So the first thing I did with this truck is I sanded it down. Um, I did not record myself sanding this down because, well, let's face it, it's a boring process and nobody wants to see me sand down this truck. However, you sand down the whole truck completely. Uh, well, first I, I put this masking tape on as you can see here I put the masking tape on and all the surfaces that I didn't want to paint over uh, Just to go ahead and make sure and cover all the spots that you don't want to paint man. That's really important uh, But then I went ahead and went to town on this by sanding it I left the rims open because I am gonna prime those as well uh, But then yeah, we went to town I sand the whole thing down and you must sand it Otherwise the paint is not gonna stick to it because you still have that factory finish on this product when you buy it from the store so what i did is i went to michael's got a primer um i think this is a gray primer yep it's a gray primer went to michael's got a gray primer i think it was like four bucks with the coupon and you gotta get those coupons from michael's man is the only way to go so like i said man i hit it with two coats of this primer um, so let's go ahead and just roll the footage after it's primed Alright guys, so here you have it with the two coats of primer, and as you can see here at the bottom, it, the primer, well not the primer, it was mainly me, I was spraying this in the dark in the back, and it was dark, it was at night time, so, you know, it was I was limited to what I can see, um, well, my flashlight can only reach so much, uh, but it, it's not a big deal, I'm just gonna go ahead and just spray a little bit of primer here at the bottom, I uh, just wanna make sure you prime everything that you wanna paint so the actual paint can stick on the primer. Otherwise, you know, over time it's gonna like peel and it's gonna, you know, start cracking. Uh, but just go ahead and make sure you get everything that you need primed up, all right? So let's go ahead, man, and get into the rest of this video. All right, guys, so there you have it. Everything is prime, And I also went ahead and covered up the rims because I am gonna be painting the truck now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by painting it green up top uh, just to get the most important part over with and just get that big green out the way. So let's go ahead, man, and I'm gonna start taping up the last wheel that I got here. So, and after that, we'll go ahead and move on. And like I said, I'm not gonna record myself painting the actual truck because it's just a waste of time i think and it's just spray paint so i just spray paint the whole thing green um i actually cover the front with a plastic bag just to make sure i don't get any green on the front but everything else it turned out great and i will show you guys how everything turned out right now all right so here it is with the green color now the color i do apologize i didn't say what color this was the color is actually a uh, green honestly I don't know what kind of green it was. I just went with the green that I thought it looked best because at the end of the day, I was gonna like weather this down and I was gonna beat it up. So I don't think it mattered what kind of green it was as long as as long as long it was the green that everybody knows coming from a garbage truck, right? So at the end of the day, I was gonna weather it down, put some black on it, and you weren't even gonna tell the difference what color of green it was. So you could have used any type of green as long as, it, as long as it matches the actual truck. So, and then after this, I went ahead and actually um, took away this plastic bag and then I painted the front white. So let's just give it a quick look. All right guys, and here is the actual complete, how the truck is supposed to look. Uh, there's white in the front, green in the back. There's a little bit of white on top of that green, if you can tell in the corner there by the recycling sign. But that's okay, man. Like I said, we're gonna weather this down, and this is what I'm gonna start to do now. It's this is the part that's a little tedious because depending on your style, depending on how you want to weather weather it down, it's gonna be all up to you. So I'm not a professional at this by any means. I just do what I see, like on YouTube videos, and I pretty much do it. You know, I got some black paint, a little bit of water, and 
I weather the whole thing down. So let's go ahead and speed up the process, man. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below, and you know I always get back at you. But let's go ahead for the remainder of the time. Let this video run. Alright, so this is the part where I hit it with the airbrush. Uh, the airbrush actually brings it a little more to life. Um, I think everybody should have an airbrush. This was really cheap. It was like 70 or 60 bucks, uh, but it does the job. Uh, but overall, it was a good process. I think the airbrush did give it good detail and good shadowing. Uh, overall, it was, it was great. So I'm going to go ahead and let this video keep running. Also, I went ahead and used this Citadel paint that it was like a bronze type of paint uh, just to give it some rust. But at the end, I, I didn't like how it dried. So I hit the brown with the actual paintbrush and it with the paintbrush, it looked a lot better. So just wait and see, man. It's a little longer, but uh, with the paintbrush, it does wonders, I think. So let's keep it going. All right, and for the rims, I went ahead and used this silver metallic paint that I got from Michaels for like 89 cents. Um, I thought it looked pretty good on the rims. I mean, rims are rims, right? They're like metallic, so I was going to weather these down. So it really didn't matter. As long as I had like a metallic color, I think it would work. And this part right here, man, it, this is just a preference. You don't have to put this on. Obviously, you can do stickers. You can do whatever it is you like. I like using the old school street art. Uh, just a little bit of some graffiti writing on the truck. Just make it look a little more believable, like the inner city garbage truck kind of kind of truck. Whatever. And like you've seen here, man, I hit it with the airbrush. A little bit of brown with the airbrush. Went over the actual lettering, so it looks a little rusted uh, pretty much everywhere. Overall, man, I liked how everything came out it looks good it looks decent it, it looks almost like a real garbage truck i'm just missing like the logos or whatnot but i wasn't too worried about putting logos or anything on there but overall this was a success i didn't think i was going to be able to do it but anybody can do this man it's just time consuming this whole process man it took me about a week because i was lazy and i just didn't feel like painting at the time so yeah it took me it took me a couple of days man but you know what we got it done that's all that matters garbage truck looks good looks fantastic so without being said man if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know down below and like always man i'm always responding hit me up once again this is john from second city toys and i'm out <laughs>